Oops. You guys missed the cow here. All right. Welcome back. Today we're going to start by merging upstream stockfish changes into uh, the multivariant stockfish repository. And by that I mean, let's refresh this page here. It says that we've done 1,042 1, more commits than the official stockfish team. I'd say probably half of those are just saying, yes, I've merged the code from the stockfish, the official stockfish repository into my own. Um, but we're two commits behind. So we got to catch up, guys. And what are those two commits, you may ask? Well, they're the two most recent commits on this list. And this is the purpose of the stream. Uh, I wonder if this uh, OBS captures the tooltip, which is going to display when I do this. It does not. Okay. So we're going to have to look at these one by one. Um, starting with the bottom one first, because this was committed first. So, score unopposed weak pawns only if majors. Do not use the opposed flag for scoring backward and isolated pawns in pawn sets CVP. Instead, give a score of 5, 25 bonus for each opponent unopposed weak pawn when we have a rook or queen on the board. Um, so, do not use the opposed flag for scoring backward and isos. Instead, give, uh, instead use a bonus when the opponent has weak pawns and we have a major piece on the board. Um, STC, the standard, or slow, no, short time control was terminated after 100,000 some games and they said, you know what? go run this test on a longer time control and it works well there this is elaine savard's idea just with a different bonus the original patch down here which had a uh, good performance at a fast speed and okay not the greatest result but an acceptable result at slow speed all right so that's one of two changes that we've got to be merging um here's all the lines of code We'll get back to that in a second, I'm sure. Number two that we're going to be merging. Let SS ply note the number of plies from the root to the current node. This patch allows SS ply to be equal to zero at the root of the search. Currently, the root has SS ply equals one, which is less intuitive. Setting the root node has to check if SS minus one ply is zero. Um, all mate values are off by one the code seems to assume that mated in zero is negative mate mate one in ply is mate minus one uh, mate in two ply is value mate plus two etc even this is inconsistent i think oh wait no mate in mate in one is value mate minus one mated in two is value mate plus two but the mate in and mated in functions are called with ssply, which is one in the root. The isDraw function currently needs to explain why it has ply minus one greater than one. The ssply greater than or equal to max ply uh, already assumes that ssply is zero to the root. If we start by counting at one, it would make more sense to go up to and including max ply. Um, so stop at SS ply is greater than max ply. What? I mean, I get that there's an off by one condition you want to address differently. Uh, I've not changed PV max ply to PV max ply plus two. It occurs to me that this is exactly right. Um, I've verified that mate scores are reported correctly. The value of cell depth is not, uh, should not change, so add one, because humans count from one, computers count from zero. Small optimization did not include, include a setting SSPLY in every invocation of search and Q search. 
um, no functional change unless the search searches a branch of depth of max ply. So search, or so the benchmark does not change. Whew. So yeah, this is Zizigy, um, Ronald DeMann, brilliant endgame strategist, very thoroughly explaining what the F changes in this uh, code change here. Um, oh, here's the lines of code that change. This is going to be the more difficult change because all the stuff we do with variants is also off by one. Alright, so how do we do the merge, you ask? Well, we go into Stockfish and see like which branch are we currently revising or have under revision. Get pull origin master just to make sure we're on the most recent revision. And then we say to obtain the latest version from the upstream repository, we pull the upstream master into our master. And of course, this causes a million merge conflicts. Not exactly, but um, I mean, you knew that this was coming, right? So let's we'll start with pawns.cpp. Um, okay, so there's only two. Um, things that changed here. The values in isolated apparently changed. Um, wait. 13, 18. And then we introduced backward. Oh boy. Well, oh, oh wait. So we've got isolated and backward already. Um, isolated pawn penalty um, by opposed flag. So this changes the fact that we no longer have an opposed flag. Um, but we're instead we're going to use 1318. That is to say we're going to use the second half of each of these. Um, okay. This will be fun to merge. Um, so... We'll use the second of every one of these. In fact, what I should do is uh, just snip words out this way. Um, there's a more efficient way to do this with regular expressions and such, but it requires that you be basically a wizard of regular expressions. And that's not worth doing. Um, okay. S zero zero, I guess, because I can't have a dimensionless array now. Or sorry, I can't have a dimensionless element in the same sense that I could have a dimensionless array. I understand that in Racing Kings we don't have, um, we do not have. Oh, what's it? We do not have pawns in Racing Kings, so the value. Uh, over there doesn't matter, but now that we're no longer using an array, um, oh, okay, so since we're not using the opposed flag, yeah, the first of every set of these constants is gone. And so, isolated, um, and backward pawn. So this is just going to say none of this by opposed flag stuff anymore. And the second of these is going to be backward is 2412. There it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't trust myself to do stuff with regular expressions to snip out just the first of any of these. So that's why I'm doing so much manual coding effort here. Regular expressions would work just fine. Um, all right, and then I also don't trust myself to write an expression that only affects like just these ten lines of code. Um, all right, and then this whole by opposed flag uh, is gone. Should say backward pawn penalty. 
Okay, that's the first half of this. The second half is where we're actually scoring, no longer using the opposed flag. Um, Alright, so multivariant stockfish does the following using the opposed flag. Um, the upstream stockfish for standard chess, which has no concept of a variant, um, simply sets these, this other flag here uh, to weak unopposed. I'm sorry, that's like a counter, if I remember right. No. Well, let me get this merged first and then try to discuss it. I think I merged that correctly. Okay, so the upstream, they set the score uh, is reduced by the isolated and backward pawn bonuses or penalties. And then the weak unopposed. Um, I'm confused very much by the use, uh, use of the exclamation point negation, like the Boolean negation operator as opposed to the bitwise negation operator. Um, I guess that's a counter of how many weak unopposed pawns there are. All right, uh, is that everything? Okay, so then we're gonna add that to the file list that we're committing. Just indicate that we're done merging it. Oh, wow. And this does not heavily change, surprisingly. Um, okay. Why did this change at all? I mean, I get that we've added a block of code before a comment. Um, yeah, I don't think this block has to change other than the comment. So we'll replace our comment with the upstream comment. I guess that's just get being cautious about what we automatically merge. Um, Okay, so I think that's good. Yeah, this section of code has nothing to do with gameplay. It has everything to do with a number of checks, but nothing with gameplay. All right, and then we say move build. 64 BMI 2. And if this is successful building, then we check what's the benchmark that we expect to get when we're done. Um, benchmark here does not change, so you have to look at the previous revision. The benchmark should be this magic 625 million, or 6.25 million number. Um, okay, pawns.cpp, uh, 539. What have I done wrong here? And why this line, but not the one, like, three lines above it? Um, oh, we're, we have an extra array index there. All right, does this compile now if I say compile? I hope so. It's nice when things work. Oh, I apologize. I've had my mic over to the side of everything. You've probably been hearing me out of the left speaker for the last few minutes. Now you can hear me in stereo sound while this compiles. Also, you can hear my keyboard noises more clearly. Um, let me turn up my speakers a bit for uh, when we do do some chess, which will be shortly. Because this got merged much faster than I thought it would. Um, perhaps and thanks to the very lengthy explanation that was offered. Um, all right, so stockfish, bench. Are we gonna get our magic 6.25 million number as the number of nodes searched? This number, six, yeah, that looks right. Good. Get status, this will tell us, make sure we've added our changes and when we're done merging, um, say get commit. So we're going to say get commit and get push origin master. 
and that indicates that everything's been merged. You know what this kicks off, right? So, um, some of you might have been around for a previous stream. I might have mentioned this, but probably not. Um, so, not too long ago, um, I configured the Travis build uh, configuration to also account for um, errors that could occur during uh, the test run. So that's not it. Um, yeah, here we are. So we're going to make sure this is some extra code that didn't need to be there. But when we're executing a test, make sure that we execute that um, and do that also in debug mode for all the variants instead of just for standard chests and chest 960. So that way, if I've introduced something that like horribly breaks the evaluation code or the search code or some other aspect of code such that an assertion does actually fail, like these two assertions were failing, but they are the same thing as this one, but they'd only fail under the condition that you're playing, uh, I think it was three check chess, or was it atomic? I don't remember. But yeah, having committed my change, we see that we're now 1,043 commits ahead of official master. And we see that AppVayor is building. And Travis is not saying it, but Travis should be building here momentarily. And we'll see if I've committed anything that breaks any variant. Um, another way to test this would be make clean, make build, uh, specify your architecture, but also say debug equals yes. Um, and this puts in all the assertion code for a debug build. Um, and then, so that instruments our code with all this um, extra code that normally is not run during the course of evaluating a position. And then you can run whatever commands you'd normally run with the engine. The one in particular that I'm interested in at the moment um, is uh, bench all that goes through the entire benchmark suite and sees you know do all the positions still work um, or have we introduced something so bad that positions just can't be evaluated or can't be searched or our mate scores are just like borked or something of that sort uh, so say bench all so first of all, are we going to trip any assertions in this apparently 170 test positions? And every time we get some other interesting position that um, causes Stockfish to do something very different than it would normally do, we add that to our um, collection of positions that are used for testing. But I think we'll be able to get through all these, yeah, 170 and then you can verify that this 25 or 253 million number, whatever that number is, um, should match up with the number you get with debug equals no. Um, or just omitting the debug um, parameter entirely. But yeah, it's good that I have some success on my machine we also test it for uh, Linux as well as for um, the Apple compiler. Um, and so I hope that it does pass. But more importantly, I hope that I've not introduced a serious regression, which is difficult for me to detect at first. Um, I could queue up some tests and see just how much got broken by the fact that we just really heavily refactored um, how bonuses are assigned based on backward pawns or penalties are assigned but um, I don't know what works for standard chess often works well for um, variants as well especially in terms of generalized chess knowledge okay so are we going to get anything here? Uh, 
there's a lot of test positions. And that's our same magic number, right? Oh, I'm sorry. That was, um, that was a standard chess number. I think that 259 million is still the same thing we were looking at earlier. Um, so we get the same numbers in debug and non-debug mode, I think. It'd be quite surprising if anything else were the case. So, that's getting Stockfish up to speed. I'm sure that was exciting.